Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 6th of 2023 well, it is titled Hess Telescopes Explore the High Energy Sky. So what do we see here? Well, what we're going to see is a video clip and this will actually run a couple of minutes and it will show the high energy stereoscopic system or Hess observatories. Now we'll see some of the different telescopes here and there are four telescopes that are 12 meters across. Now they'll look like very large optical telescopes, but these are designed to look at high energy light. Now high energy light generally does not penetrate through our atmosphere and will be very difficult to detect because those particles, those gamma rays and X rays do not make it down to the ground. However, this uses a little a different method to be able to uh, observe these objects. So let's go ahead and start the video while we look at this a little bit more. And as we start the video, we will see the telescopes here on the out in Namibia in southern Africa. And we can see the structure of the telescopes are built in pieces. They're not all one solid piece of material. There are actually a number of little different different shapes that are combined together and that allows for much larger telescopes to be built. Now I mentioned that these used a different method to be able to see high energy. Normally we have to get a satellite up above Earth's atmosphere to be able to see these. In this case we can do something different and that's looking for what we call a Cherenkov radiation. And that's what these are studying. And they will look at the material that comes from the gamma rays, which will actually be traveling faster than light in the Earth's upper atmosphere. Now, how can something travel faster than light? Well, the limiting speed is the speed of light in a vacuum. So you cannot travel faster than that. However, light slows down traveling through air or water, and you can exceed that speed. So this emits then what we call Cherenkov radiation, which can then be detected. And we can look at that. Uh, we can look at that and are able to study that material instead of having to get a satellite up above the Earth's atmosphere. So it's a lot easier to study from the ground than it is to be able to have the expense and maintenance of a satellite up in the atmosphere. And of course, in the background, as you've been watching this video, you've seen many things like the moon and planets, as well as our Milky Way galaxy stretched apart in some of these images, uh, where we can see that and of course, a large number of stars in the background here as observed. And we see again, our Milky Way. And as well as from the southern hemisphere, we'll also see in a couple of images, the large and small Magellanic clouds, the two small satellite galaxies of our own Milky Way. So the Hess telescopes allow us to study very high energy particles from Earth's surface and have looked at many sources of high energy radiation, things like supernova remnants, as well as doing searches for dark matter. So that was our picture of the day for September 6th of 2023. It was titled Hess telescopes explore the high energy sky. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be large star cloud. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.